Um, I think we, we naively uh, proclaim that whenever we see something wrong with the research protocol, any deviation, that those working under the PI should just freely report it. If we lived in that kind of world, we wouldn't need any type of regulations. Anytime you work in an organization that has a power structure, you, we need to be very mindful that it's not always easy for people working under us to report things that we've done wrong. And I think that's exactly what happened in this case. Uh, here we have a second year dental student working in someone's laboratory. He discloses lots of things that are going wrong with this protocol and he's having trouble is figuring out what his best course of action would be because there's going to be ramifications um, regardless of what he does. Having said that Parvish was in a very very tough position as a research assistant in a very influential uh, person's lab, I still believe that he had a moral obligation to do something with the information he had. So he had a couple of different options. Um, the first, which he actually explored, was he, he talked to some of his colleagues to make sure that what he was seeing and experiencing was actually right. Um, so that was the first thing that he did absolutely correctly. And in the best case, you'd want him to go directly to the principal investigator and say, this is what I have found out. Um, again, that's very hard to do. He has a couple of different options. Um, almost every institution has an anonymous reporting hotline uh, that enables anyone in that structure to report a number of infractions that they see. So that is the one thing, the one avenue that he could have taken. The second thing he could have done is gone directly to the IRB and reported this as well, but that's not anonymous, if you will. The third option, which again, I don't think was really appropriate in this case because of the power imbalance, was to actually go to Dr. Crenshaw with what he had seen and found and ask for an explanation there. But as we saw by Dr. Crenshaw's actions in the play, he probably would have dismissed the allegations.